Hello YouTube, my name is Alston and I make YouTube videos for people that are just getting started with blogging, passive income, and affiliate marketing. Today I'm going to spend some time explaining what email marketing is, how it can help you grow your business, and all of the good stuff in between. Before we get started, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification if this video or any other video on this channel has helped you in any way. Let's get started. All right, so Wikipedia defines email marketing basically as sending emails to a list of people, usually your list, in, in which you uh, make an attempt to sell them on a product or service. Email marketing fundamentally is very basic. It's very simple. It's an evolution of snail mail marketing. Um, the difficulty comes in, in my opinion, is generating that list. Now, there are a number of ways that people go out and generate lists. You can purchase lists from different websites. Oftentimes, if people are giving you something for free, that's a way to generate the list. But getting a list of quality leads or, or semi-quality leads that are, are um, interested buyers is by far the most difficult thing when it comes to email, email marketing. Um, so some of the things that I mentioned, like um, giving stuff away for free, um, whether it's a free webinar, a free training, a free PDF, uh, those are some of the good ways that, or the the most successful ways that people have tried to to gain to gain uh, email subscribers. Um, the the difficult thing with email marketing is just about, in my opinion, just about everyone is kind of hip to this this here. Let me give you something for free so that you can get on my email list type of scheme. Um, not scheme. Scheme's a little harsh. What people do, and in my opinion, what some people do, is they'll give you that junk email address so that they can um, download whatever it is for free, or you know, they download the information and, and then move you to the spam. So that's something that you're gonna have to be aware of if you are looking to email market. Um, email marketing is still one of the most successful ways to grow your, your business and make passive income. Uh, the reason why it's so successful is because usually you have a dedicated list of people that are interested in your product, service, or niche. Um, there will always be that subset that won't buy anything, um, or they, you know, they put you in the junk folder right away. But usually, in my opinion, uh, the the people that are on your email list are a little bit easier to sell and convert versus someone that just comes to your website as a as a one off uh, via search engine or or whatever. So the ultimate goal for an affiliate marketer or someone that's interested in passive income is to get people to your email list uh, so that you can get them into your funnel. And basically, what the funnel is when you think of a funnel. Um, people come in, ton of people come in at the top, and you are slowly directing them to an action. In most cases with email marketing, the action is to buy a product or service. Uh, you can use email marketing for volunteering or um, maybe get, joining a job or joining a gym or whatever, but usually the email marketing starts off as a funnel to get them to make a buying decision and usually to use your, um, your affiliate link to do that or if you're selling a product or service. Um, so basically, the, the process is, is this. You give them something for free, whether it's a, a webinar, a free training, an ebook, um, whatever it is, you get them to your email list. And then that's when you slowly bring them along. Um, you provide more information or more helpful content, and then you may throw one or two um, affiliate links in there just kind of testing it. Some people will be hot or warm and they'll be want to buy right away. A lot of people aren't. Um, then you, you repeat this process for a few days uh, consistently. If they, if they don't buy anything, you take maybe one or two days off. Uh, there, are, there are tons of different methods for funneling people to get to the buying decision. It just, it really all depends on, on who you believe to be right. Uh, some people will, will do content, 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 hard sell. Some people will do uh, content with sell, content with sale, content with sale, and then maybe take one or two days off. Uh, some people just go sell, 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 sell. Um, but there, again, there are a few different methods to uh, do email marketing or find success in email marketing. Anyone that has done affiliate marketing, passive income, made money online will tell you email marketing is the lifeblood of 
of a affiliate marketer, marketer or, or an online entrepreneur because you have a dedicated list of people. Um, with online marketing or, or launching an e-business, um, customers are, are fleeting. They may show up once but never come back again. If you can get them into an email list and into a sales funnel, uh, that means they know, like, and trust you usually, and you can get them uh, to do basically whatever you want to do. The other cool thing, too, with email marketing in this funnel is you can uh, reactivate this funnel as you get a new product or service. So let's say you move them through the funnel and they, they buy something. Okay, that person goes into a different funnel of a, of a buyer. Um, you know that person has built a relationship with you or your online persona. And so you can actually get that person to buy multiple things throughout their, their lifetime with you. And so uh, that's why email marketing is so important for a passive income, per a person looking for passive income or an affiliate marketer, because uh, once they get in your funnel, unless they ask to be removed, which most people don't do, um, you can keep hitting them with different um, sales pitches that you might not be able to get, uh, you might not be able to get into that, that per in front of that person otherwise. So that's really email marketing explained. <clears throat> Just to summarize, you provide something of value for free. Um, that thing can be an ebook, it can be a webinar, um, it can be a course or a tutorial. You ask them to put in their email address, they put in their email address, you give them that free thing. Once you get that email address, you start funneling them to making a buying decision. There can be a bunch of mini funnels along the way, uh, or there can be a large payoff funnel at the very end. Um, as I mentioned, the mini funnel is where you provide some content and then you tell them click here to buy now. Uh, and you can do that multiple times, take a break and then continue on. Or you can provide them with a ton of helpful content and then ask them to, to, to buy at the very end of your, of your funnel. Usually what you're doing is you're warming them up. Um, you're bringing them to making the, the decision that you want them to make. Um, and email marketing works for any niche product or service. If you are selling vacuum cleaners or if your, your market's vacuum cleaners, um, you may probably want to make your funnel a little bit more aggressive because uh, depending on the price of the vacuum, that can happen pretty quickly. If it's a high ticket item, something over $100, uh, you may want to build the value a little bit more slowly. So maybe like a three day and then hit them with a the sale. It really all depends on the product service and um, how you build value in that product or service. So that is a very long winded answer to email marketing explained, uh, but I wanted to make sure that I um, sp explain it in great detail so that you can explain it to someone else or uh, you have a firm understanding of what you need to do or what your goal should be when you uh, accumulate a customer or, or an email. If this video has helped you out in any way, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. Um, also, stay tuned to my channel as I uh, bring you seven different topics, one new topic every day of the week through the rest of this year. Uh, once again, this is Alston, and thanks for watching.